Good afternoon, YouTube friends and family. This is Mark again with Waist Deep Wade Fishing Southwest Florida. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I want to thank everyone for continuing to help me grow this channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Um, we're doing great. I would like to see a little bit more participation in you know the comments. You know, leave me some ideas, things that you would possibly want to see or want me to do. That would be great. Hit that like button, you know, hit that share button, tell a friend, and make sure you subscribe. Now, that's the only way this channel is going to grow um, and get bigger and better is if you subscribe to it um, and hit that notification bell. This way you know when I put out a new video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move forward and start it off today on the right foot. Oh my goodness, we are going to talk about a topic that has been debated for years artificial bait scents what scent is the best scent that I believe that is on the market today to put on your artificial lures now of course there's different scents for different situations but I'm talking about the all-around scent I'm talking about the scent that you could put on a top water that'll bring a fish to bite that bait Without further ado, I want to introduce, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. They're not paying me to say this. This is my view. Okay, I think this is the best scent on the market. So I'm bringing it to you. Again, without further ado, here it is. Procure's bait sauce in the shrimp flavor. As you can see the whole bottle, I believe I picked this up for $7.99 and I have nothing but good things to say about it. I mean, it has caught so many varieties of fish. I put it on every lure I throw, whether it's a paddle tail, whether it's an artificial shrimp, whether it's a miradine. Uh, whether it's a, 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 um, a top water, I mean, you name it, I use it on everything. And it produces fish. And it doesn't just produce one type of fish. It produces all of the big three. The snook, the redfish, the sea trout. So let's dive into it and, and, and discuss the, the pros and the cons of this Pro, Procure's bait sauce. Let's start with the pros. Number one, it's sticky. It stays on the bait. It's oily. Okay, it leaves a oil trail. When you th put that on your lure and you throw that lure along the grass flat, it's dispersing scent over the grass flat and it is pulling fish towards that area. Number two, it has UV flash in it. So that means when you put it on your lure and the light hits it correctly, it actually helps the lure. It gives it a little extra uh, panache, if you will. Number three, it stinks. Okay, hands down. You know, you get it on your hands, and you, your hands are going to smell like it for a while. Okay, you put it on the lure, it sticks to the lure, it doesn't wipe right off. Um, it goes a long way. Yeah, you know, it's $8.00. Eight bucks, you know, for, for, for this, but it's worth it. If it catches you an extra redfish that day, or an extra two or three trout, or maybe that big snook that otherwise wouldn't have hit that lure, but that scent maybe brought them in, it's worth the penny. Now, I'm not saying that it's, you know, the best thing since sliced bread, because nothing is. You know, if there's no fish there, you're not going to catch fish. But what it's going to do is, if there aren't fish there, it may, the, the smell, because it's so strong, okay, is going to attract that redfish, okay? It may bring in that trout. That snook may be cruising the mangrove line or be in the mangroves and, and catch a whiff of it, okay? Or see that UV flash and come out of the mangroves and hit it. So for eight bucks, it's really not a bad investment, okay? I'm not saying it's gonna guarantee you to catch fish, but I will say this, I guarantee you it will help you catch fish. So now the cons. 
the first thing I've noticed about it, do not, and I repeat, and if you are a waiter and you are you know, using a waiting bag, put it somewhere that it's not baking in the sun. Put it in the bag, deep down in the darkest part of the bag. Uh, wrap it. I put it, you know, with a little Ziploc bag. I put it in the Ziploc bag and I put it deep down in the bag so the sun isn't baking on it. When the sun bakes it, okay, it becomes a little less consistent. It ha it gets a little watery. So therefore, you lose a little bit of that stickiness. It doesn't stay on as long. So try to keep it as cool as possible. I know if you're out there waiting or you're on the flats. You know, the boat is going to heat up, but keep it in the shade as much as possible. Another con, the price. Um, yeah, it's eight bucks. You know, it's not it's not $100 for a bottle of it, but it's still $8. It's a little pricey. I believe it's worth every penny. Some people may dis you know, disagree with me, but for $8, um, it goes a long way. A little dabble do you. I put it on everything. And I used to use the regular Procure formula, and I thought nothing you know, would beat it. You know, I use the blue crab, I use the shrimp, and I use the mullet. And now, I only use the Procure bait sauce. This is it. Hands down, if I give it a scale to 1 to 10, it's an 11. Um, by no means does it guarantee you to catch a fish, but it will attract them. Now I have an example that I'm going to be showing you here in a few minutes of me. I put the Procure on a top water plug in the middle of the afternoon in 100 degree weather and we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and take a look at that video right now. Mr. Trout decided to say hello. That's a good one. That's a decent sized trout. All right, buddy. Hold on. Come here. Show you off to everyone in a second. Come here, buddy. All right, all right. Calm down. Oh, that's a decent sized trout. A little thin. Get that hook out of your mouth. All right, guys. Well, there's our first trout of the day. I'd say. I don't know, 17, 18, 19, somewhere around there. That's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16, 17. Nice. Got three, uh, got three nice little daggers in the front of his mouth. Well, stay tuned. Hopefully we can get a couple more. See ya. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna end this video. I hope you enjoyed that little, you know, that little clip of the trout hitting that top water. Um, again, this is my view, you know, uh, take it for what it's worth. I've got 20 years on the water. I know it works, I know it doesn't. Uh, the Procure bait sauce and the shrimp formula, shrimp flavor, fantastic. Get it at any local, you know, uh, Bass Pro or on Amazon or any of the tackle, tackle warehouse, anywhere where you order from, pretty much they have it. Or go to the Procure website um, and they'll have it there. Pick it up, give it a shot. Um, I'm sure it's going to, you know, put a couple of uh, steps up in your game. But thank you very much for uh, taking the time to view this video. My name is Mark, Waste Deep Weight Fish in Southwest Florida. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you all out on the water again. Stay tuned to the next video. Get out there and get yourself a yellow mouth, a redfish, or a snook. See you on the water.